About six years ago, I uh, became very interested in cities and the influence that cities and urban design and urban systems have on well-being. In some ways, I've become addicted to cities, all cities, in the last few years. You know, if you ask Americans where they want to live, most of them say they want to live in a small town, but everybody around the world, including in this country, has been migrating to big cities. It's where we find our work, it's where we come together to be creative, and it's where we find each other. We've come to a moment in time where we know how to build cities. We got that down. We can cram people into cities, and yet we haven't figured out how to live well in cities. Now we're at a, a crucial moment in history where we're realizing the way we choose to live together in cities has immense implications for the environment, for the climate, and some might even say for the uh, future of our societies. It is about more than simply feeling comfortable in the city, but finding meaning in those everyday moments. And whether that implies uh, having an experience with other people, or experiencing democracy, or feeling empowered when it comes to well-being or the things that make us happy, in the end, it's other people that make us happy. We find each other in cities.